let's see what happens when artificial intelligence writes Nintendo fan fiction. I, I don't I don't see how this can work out well. <laughs> Zelda took Link's hand. I need to capitalize that. I need, I need, I need to show some respect. Looked him dead in the eye and said, all right, we're gonna write this fan fiction. We're, 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 rather, we're gonna let the, the machines <laughs> write, the, write the fanfic. You know what, I think you're a real hero and you'll be one until the day you die. She gave his hand a squeeze and then let it go. She turned away from him to face her father. <laughs> What's gonna happen? Dad, she said softly, I'm so sorry about everything that happened at Hyrule Castle Town. I was wrong. If there's anything I can do to make up for my mistake, her father held up a hand to silence her. This is like, this is, I'm gripped. Gripped. He shook his head sadly. No, daughter. It is too late for apologies. <laughs> Good God. <laughs> the damage has been done, but we have no choice but to move forward. We must deal with the consequences of our actions and try to make things right again. He turned to look out over the fields below. We need to find a way to make this right, he continued. And I believe we will if we work together. Link nodded silently. They got that. He's a silent protagonist. <laughs> Ganondorf's here. Ganondorf is just there. I, I have made some decisions, Ganondorf added. I don't know why that's my Ganondorf voice. The first thing I'm going to do is appoint you as my heir. Zelda's eyes widened in surprise. Ganondorf smiled at her. This is going somewhere. You see, I know how much you love me. And, and I know that you would never want to be apart from me. That is why I've decided to give you a job. As my personal bodyguard. <laughs> so, so, so in this world, Zelda had done something at Hyrule Castle to piss off her dad. Link is just there. I, I tried to make him a part of the story, but Link is just there. Ganondorf is here offering Zelda a job. I love this. I'm a, I'm 100% here for this story. Whew. Oh my god, I'm actually crying a little bit. Zelda grinned back at him. That sounds like fun. What does it involve? Ganondorf looked at her sternly. Your new duties are to protect me from all harm, both physical and spiritual. <laughs> you will accompany me everywhere, and you will keep watch over me constantly. If anyone should ever threaten me, you will defend me without hesitation or reservation. Zelda looked down at the ground. But th hold on, wait a minute. In this lore, is Ganondorf Zelda's dad? I think that's what, I think that's what's happening here. Zelda looked down at the ground. But dad, I, I don't know if I can do that. <laughs> okay, so Ganondor Ganondorf confirmed as Zelda's dad. You must, he insisted. This is your duty now. <laughs> I don't like where this is going. Zelda nodded reluctantly. Good girl, he said, smiling proudly. This one's done. This one's done. <laughs> That was going in a weird direction. We're gonna try something new. All right, so Mario and Sonic were going for a nice walk in Green Hill Zone when suddenly Sonic screamed at the top of his lungs. I've got it, I found it. He ran over to Mario. This is it. This is where we're gonna find the boss. What are you talking about, said Mario. Sonic pointed up to the sky. A large bird was flying above them. It looked like an eagle. Uh, that's not the boss. <laughs> it's just a big bird. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine being Sonic being all excited and then be like, oh no, f you. <laughs> no way, said Sonic. It has to be the boss. Look at how it flies. The wings move so fast they blur together. And look at that tail. If you see one thing from this level, let it be that tail. <laughs> okay, I love this. Mario shrugged and continued on their way. But as he walked, something caught his eye. Uh, it's, it was Mario talking now. Hey, what's at that? <laughs> Sonic stopped walking. What do you mean? What did you see? Well, there's a path leading up that mountain. Let's take a closer look. That's a, that's a bad Mario impression. They both followed the path upward. Soon they came to a cave. Inside was a small treasure chest. Mario opened it. It contained some coins. He smiled. He found a secret area. Then he turned around and saw Sonic standing next to him with a confused look on his face. Oh, this is getting interesting. You didn't tell me about this place, said Sonic. There's nothing here, just a bunch of coins. Yeah, but that doesn't matter. Oh, they're getting into it. We have to get back to the boss. We need to hurry. Okay, said Mario. He started running down the path again. They went back to the area where Sonic had seen the bird fly away. I feel like this one's just, we're, we're running into the ground with this one. There was no sign of it anywhere. <laughs> okay, so this is the end of it. They searched for a while longer, but they couldn't find any trace of it. Finally, they gave up and returned to the castle. As they entered the courtyard, they heard the sound of music coming from inside. That's nice. That's a little more wholesome. I like that. Link smacked Sonic across the face as hard as he could. 
Don't you ever look at my... We're gonna see what it does with that. Don't you ever look at my girlfriend again. Ow, what was that for? Sonic groaned, rubbing his cheek and glaring at Link. He didn't seem to be hurt though, so Link ignored him. I can't believe you're doing this, Sonic said, shaking his head. You're really gonna let some stupid little kid beat you up? <laughs> Shut up, you idiot! Link turned back to the portal. There's a f***ing portal? We have a job to do, remember? We can't just leave her- Oh, that's- that's Link. <laughs> we have a job to do, remember? We can't just leave her here like this. Wait, we're leaving someone here? I'm not gonna let her get taken away from me. Sonic stared at him in disbelief. Are you serious? She's an evil queen, and she tried to kill us both. So the evil queen is a kid that beat up Link. Got it. She did try to kill us, Link agreed, but we have no choice but to help her now. Otherwise, she'll never be able to get out of there. Yeah, yeah, Sonic muttered. Just go ahead and open it up already. I'm sure it won't hurt if you let yourself get sucked into another world with her. Link rolled his eyes. You're such a jerk. He took a deep breath and stepped through the portal. Wait, Sonic shouted after him. What about your friends? Link turned around and gave him a disgusted look. I told them to stay behind, he growled, and they should know better than to listen to me anyway. The portal closed behind him. The moment the portal snapped shut, a bolt of lightning struck it. The noise made Link jump and almost knocked him off his feet. He looked down to see the stone floor underneath him suddenly covered in grass. Jeez, he grumbled, that was way too close. He, okay, this is, see, this is like getting too real. Like this could be like a novelization of The Legend of Zelda. Another awesome site for this is called Infrakit, so we're gonna try one on there real quick. Let's, let's start with some drama. Okay, so we're, we're, we're getting right into it here. Shut the hell up, Zelda screamed. Link took off his hat and said, you're gonna pay for that. And the young man stumbled back onto his friends with a bloody nose and a black eye. What the hell did you call me? Zelda asked with some anger in her voice. You know the word I'm talking about, the young man who was later found to be Eric Padalecki 32 <laughs> said in a breathless voice, you're gonna pay for that. You had it coming, Zelda said angrily. Nah. It's all right. I get what I want, the man said. Eric Padalecki, not, not Link. You what? Nothing, he said. Good luck with that. You can try, he said. Link walked over and punched him in the face again. Oh, there's an, oh so it is a third person. <laughs> you're gonna pay for that. There's a lot of like, <laughs> you're, <laughs> you're gonna pay for that, he shouted. You're gonna pay for this, Link shouted. You're the one who taught me that, he said. You little, she started. Zelda walked up to him and wrapped, okay, this is gonna be the last line, the last one I'm gonna generate. Zelda walked up to him and wrapped her arms around his neck and started to squeeze him. Why don't you come out so we can make this quick and easy, she said. No, he yelled. Oh, we're making this quick and easy. Okay, that's, that's plenty. Thank you guys so much for watching. Click subscribe and I will see you in the next video.